in the in the graph uh, shown here, uh, this is the traveling time between different towns. Now, if a person tra wants to travel from say A to H, a, a person wants to travel from A to H, uh, which is the shortest way or shortest path from A to H with respect to time. So uh, there are different ways of doing this, but let's try uh, this way, uh, which is also called a method of trees. So let's try one path, A to B, B to E, and E to H. So the distance from A to A is say zero. So let's write zero there. So the distance is zero. And A to B, the distance is 100 minutes. So let's write 100 there. And B to E is 40 minutes, so 100 plus 40 is 140, and 140 plus 80 is 220, so this is 223. So if you go this way, it is 223. So in this method, what we are trying to do is we try to better this 223 by uh, looking at different ways. And if it is not a better way, we'll not go that way. So let's try this way. Is it better? So A to D, it is 63 minutes, so we'll write 63 there. And 63 plus 52, so 60 plus 30 is 110, so 115. So 115 plus uh, 71, so let me use my calculator, 115 plus 71, is it better? 186, so that is better, so we'll cross this out. So this is a trial and error method. So you just keep bettering this whatever number you get till you reach the best. So again, this way, if you go from A to B, B to E, E to H, it is 223. And if you go this way, it is 186. So we, this is not a better way. So this is a better way. So can we think of any other way? What if we go straight? So A to B, A to C is 70 minutes, okay? And from 70 plus 43 is 113. And 113 plus 60 is 173. Am I right? I'm all, I always get confused just to confirm. So 70 plus 40 is 110, 113. Plus 60 is 1. Yeah, that should not be difficult. 173. So that's again better. So let's write 173 here. Yeah. Okay, so those who are struggling, so let me, so 70 plus, there's nothing wrong in checking your answer, is 113 plus 60, which is 173. So that is better. So what if, if you go from, uh, you can reach D C, you can also reach C from uh, going from G to C. But that is not better because this is 115 plus 58 is going to be greater than, uh, sorry, is going to be greater than 70. So that is not an approach that you should be taking. Is there any other way to reach H? Okay, so what if, if you go from A to D and D to F? Okay, can we go this way? If you go from E to C, this at E you have reached uh, 140 plus 66 is always obviously going to be greater than one is going to be greater than 70 so that is also not a good approach so what if if we go from uh, B to F okay so this is 100 100 plus 66 is 116 so that is also not a good approach so what if if we go from D to F Okay, 63 plus 39. So let's again use my calculator. 63 plus 39. So I'm going trying to go from D to F. 63 plus 39 equal 102. So that is better. Okay, so, so 63 plus 39 is, what was the number? 102. Yeah, so this can be bettered. So this is 102. Instead of reaching from 
C to E, C to F, it is better to go from D to F. So A to D is, A to D is 63, 63 plus 39 is 102. And 102 plus 60 is 162, that is even better. This is 162 is even better. Is there any other way? Can you better this to reach H? You can reach either from G, E or F. Now you can reach G from 7. If you go the other way around, is it better? 70 plus 58 is again not better. So this way is also not better. So 70 plus. So let's try this way now. Let's try 70 plus 51 is that suppose you can make this better this part better 70 plus 50 is 120 is 121 and 121 plus 83 is always obviously going to be greater than 162 so the best part that we can see here is 162 162 is the shortest time now we need to figure out what is the path so now we have to use logic so 162 take away 60 so from h let's trace backwards so this is the first path so h2 so how does it make sense because 162 take away 60 is so you're going from h to f h to f is the path because 160 minus 62 is 102 now I have to go 102 take away 43 is not 70 so you have to make sense 102 minus 39 so if you go this way from here if you go this way so 102 take away 39 is 63 okay so let me show you that so 102 take away 39 is 63 so this is the path and obviously 63 take away 63 is zero so from h if you trace backwards h to f f to d and d to a okay so the shortest path is a if you go backwards you can see backwards a to d d to f and f to h and the shortest time for this part, shortest part is 162 minutes. So yeah, you have to do a bit of trial and error and the calculations and you just keep bettering your previous result.